Whoa, you Virgos out there. Welcome to your monthly horoscope for March 2019. What a month for the Virgos. This is this is probably going to be a longer video than all the other ones. And you know what? People are going to be mad at me because I'm just um, giving more information to the Virgos and I'm just putting them on a pedestal because I'm a Virgo myself. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm a moon and Aries person. I'm a moon and Aries person, so I don't care what other people think. But anyway, of course I do. Of course I do. But um, the thing is, Ma March could be the month for the Virgos. That is, you know, when you you have a whole year, March just pops out. And uh, it could be one of the most important months of the year of 2019. And why? Because, first of all, it's in a key area of life that uh, so much energy is transiting at the moment. It's all in your seventh house. It's all about... March is all about relationships. Whether you have your sun in Virgo, your ascendant in Virgo, your moon in Virgo, or a couple of other planets, it's all relationships. Because there's so much happening in Pisces that is pretty, pretty important um, to be aware uh, what I'm certainly want to do is making you aware and making you as aware that as you can, because you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. You're gonna need the awareness. You're gonna need to because this is opposite energy. This is energy that you're not used to. This is energy that is contradiction to your energy. It's not bad or good, um, but it demands a little bit more effort to deal with it in a positive way. Because everything is negative and everything is positive. Positive. It depends on what you're doing with it. So let's break it down. Um, it's not only a new moon in Pisces that is happening around the 6th. Uh, so the sun and the moon will be together with Neptune around 16 degrees. So if you are a Virgo who's got Virgo planets around the middle of uh, the sign, so around 16 degrees, you will feel it. You know, you've got Neptune anyway. Just opposes. So it's around, if your birthday is around the 10th of September, before that, a bit after that, you feel it the most. Um, but all Virgos will feel it for sure. So that is the new moon. And then around the same time, uh, there is the Mercury, your ruler, going retrograde in that sign of Pisces. And it's only going direct again at the very end of the month. So you're, you're ruled by, Virgo, um, by Mercury. So you know, and, and this is business as usual for the Virgos, that Mercury every now and then goes backwards. And you know that this is a time of introspective, uh, introspection. This is a time of standing still. This is a time of reassessment. And now it has to do with relationships. Um, it has to do with your seventh house. And you, if you're watching this video in February, you could be feeling it already, this energy. Why? Because Mercury around the 15th, 16th of February, Mercury is going to join with Neptune for the first time. And then it's going to join Neptune actually three times uh, during now and the end of uh, March, beginning of April. So that's a very important, um, uh, very important energy. Mercury together with Neptune and three times going over it. This has to do with the following. So all this energy in your seventh house. So it's not only, you know, maybe you're saying, but I'm single. Well, there's definitely uh, going to appear someone there that will catch your eye. You may be sure of that. Um, so single or not single, there is some one or maybe more, <laughs> more than one, but mostly it's just one person that will catch your eye and that you will be reassessing, uh, so to speak. So it could be a, an existing relationship when you are in a relationship. It could be that some, you know, the classic, someone co comes back into your life or an, an ex-lover or whatever could come back into your life. Or uh, I've also seen people that they're saying, look, uh, around that time, I'm, I'm going to have my divorce, for instance, in the divorce papers, and I'm going to get in touch again with my ex. That could be that as well, that there is there are some things to contracts to sign and, and, and things to review uh, during that period of time. So it could also mean that a significant other comes back into your life, but that's not necessarily for all of you. But 
again, um, with Mercury going backwards, there's a chance that this is the case. And why is that? That is, that is there to review the relationship and to... Um, and what is reviewing, it's, it's standing a, a bit on... And that's something that, that Virgos can do quite well. They're quite um, of the observant type, so to speak, to observe and to have a look at what they have to say, because that's Mercury. And uh, to just um, not react too quickly upon that and to give it a bit of time. Um, because the challenging part of all this energy in your seventh house is definitely confusion. So uh, prepare yourself for it, dear Virgo. Um, that there will be some things will not be crystal clear as we are used to, you know. Uh, we as Virgos. Um, expect that during the whole, it's basically the whole month, and even the first week of April, that when it comes to relationships, so I mean your important relationships, with this, which is your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or um, maybe a business partner, um, it could also be actually um, the seventh house is also a mentor, so someone that is really helping you out, um, but around these people, there's confusion. Um, there is there could be confusion um, and um, if you so normally Virgos are not really really keen about things that not, are not clear because they are about clearness and they are about things being very very clear so that you can decide very easily but if you uh, accept the energy of a bit foggy, a bit misty, and a bit... What do you do, by the way, when you are driving your car in the in the mist or in the fog? Well, what do you do? Exactly. You just slow down. Um, so, in my humble opinion, the best thing that you can do when it comes to relationships is slowing down. Don't take very important uh, decisions around uh, this, the whole month, basically. Certainly not with contracts. Uh, because that's the seventh house again. So also actually, maybe for some of you Virgos, this has to do with a contract that you want to sign for work. Uh, because seventh house is contracts. And um, so be careful. Be careful, of course, if you cannot um, wait, then you have to sign, of course. I mean, you can only control what you can control. But be aware that there might be some things that you will have to readjust afterwards uh, during the month of April. So, but for many of you, the best advice to give you is just to take it slow when it comes to relationships. Uh, don't jump to conclusions, certainly not in, in the whole month of March. And if you have a certain opinion about someone, be aware that it might change. So let's say you're single and you're meeting the love of your life. I mean, the, the positive side of this energy is extremely ideal romantic energy. So some of you will, um, let's say you're single and you're meeting someone new, wow, this is magical energy. It could be that someone really, you know, falling head over heels, so to speak, that you are in that position that you're feeling very overwhelmed. Again, uh, enjoy it, absolutely enjoy it, but be aware that you know, that you are in an energy now where you see things a bit with pink colored glasses, so to speak, la vie en rose. Um, so that's not, you, that's not a bad thing, but if you know that you're in that state and if you know that, okay, consciously or unconsciously, I'm only seeing what I want to see, don't put anyone on a pedestal, basically. That's, if you're doing that, they're only human as well. Um, so again, this is not what normally Virgos do. But again, with all that Piscean energy, with all that Neptunian energy, it could really um, be someone entering your life that you're, whew, wow, what is this all about? And enjoy that, enjoy that. But stay with the feet on the ground, of course. Stay with the feet on the ground. Uh, no one is more than you. No one is below you. I mean, everyone is, a, is um, uh, it, it has the good, the bad, and the ugly in them. So if you're aware of that, you'll be, you'll be fine. So again, don't be afraid when you fall in love during this period. It could be magical. It could be really the soulmate that enters your life. Um, but it could be also very confusing. 
So that, that it is so overwhelming that you're really confused. Now the good thing is that this is just happening uh, uh, not years and years, but it's happening for the whole March, uh, the whole month. So after the second week of April, there's way more clarity coming your way. So um, again, best thing is to enjoy it, to not really take the most uh, important decisions. It could also mean that there is a closure, that there is a bit of a healing process there with someone happening as well. I mean, in Pisces, which is the last sign and which has to do with ending cycles, could be the case as well. Um, or, um, of course, as I said, the, the ones that are having a birthday around the 10th of September, they will feel this energy uh, the most. Also, the Virgos who have a birthday at the very, very end uh, of, um, of Virgo because Mercury goes retrograde there. All in all, an enormous, it's a time where if you are one of those Virgos who's saying, I missed a bit of magic in my life, you're going to get it. You're going to get it for sure. Be prepared. You're going to get lots of uh, magical energy when and, and certainly when it relates to other people so that's the beauty of it it's not all it's certainly not all negative but you have to apply yourself in in the best way um, possible I think I've said enough there of course I said enough I'm gonna stop it here because that's the most important one all the rest is peanuts and I know Virgos want to know about peanuts but I'm not gonna do this now because it's 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 you know, these are general horoscopes. It's already so difficult to be very uh, precise and concise. And um, so I, I wish you a very magical month, dear Virgos. And I wish you very good connections with people because that's the positive side of this energy. You can connect on such a deep emotional level with, with people like it has been for ages or um, uh, maybe for the first time for some of you, you know, maybe young people are going to experience this for the first time. Having said that, thank you so much for watching. Have a great month, dear Virgos. And um, if you want a reading, just get in touch.